The video releases are going to be quite similar to the summer and it should be around one a week. You one a week, one a week, one a week. Let's just try and act like I didn't miss out on four months worth of content and that it really just didn't happen. And welcome back to another video on the channel. Been a long time since I've said that. I guess the first thing I should say is I apologize for not making those weekly videos like I said I would in the clip you just seen because things started to get a little bit busier for me. But now I finished my first year of university, so happy days. What I'm not gonna do this time is make the mistake of saying I'm gonna do videos every week. I'm just gonna see if I can upload whenever I can. That way you won't get disappointed. Because it's been so long, there's quite a lot of things that I need to talk about and there's quite a lot of things that have happened since you last saw a video on this channel. So I'm just gonna try and start right from the start of where I last did my last video and see if I can just work my way forward from there and inform you of all the things I've been getting up to. So the last video you saw from me was the crossbar challenge, seeing how many crossbars I could hit in Wrexham. And that video got a great response, got a load of views, People were really happy with the fact that it was charity related and so was I because it was really good to be able to raise that money for charity. The camp over in America were also really happy about that as well. So yeah, it was a really good video to record and I was hoping I could start to release more after that. But then I headed back to uni and realized that I actually had a lot of work that I needed to do for university heading into the last semester of the year. Now that I'm done, obviously that's all to one side. I can now continue to focus on other things. Then of course, back in September, next year will be when of course that break will probably happen again to keep things short and simple as soon as i made that last video i began my coaching again although it wasn't around here in wrexham it was in birmingham you saw from me in the video titled welcome back to my channel funny enough i've done quite a few of them now but in that video i said i was going to my first coaching session with a new team it's been quite a while since that now and since then i've taken that responsibility and taken that role of coaching that team and some of you might have seen on social media who that is but if you haven't it's Solihull Moors. Solihull Moors are a football club that play in the same league as Wrexham, for those of you that may be watching from around Wrexham, in the National League, the fifth tier of English football. I'm currently coaching the under-7s team. They're going into under-8s next year, but they're currently under-7s. It's been a fantastic few months coaching them. To think it's their first season playing football together as a team, it's their first season of proper football. They're about to go through two lockdowns before they can properly start playing their football. And since March, they've been having games every Sunday and training every Thursday. We managed to win the Development Cup. absolute scenes on the pitch you could see that this was an incredible achievement for my team just to think they've only been together for that short period of time and they were able to connect with each other make those bonds as a team and then improve themselves individually and again as a team to then go on and win that cup has been an absolutely fantastic achievement and it's something they will definitely never ever forget it's something that i won't forget either it's, it was an absolutely fantastic experience for me you know obviously i've been doing coaching for a while now you, you all know this it's I've mentioned it so many times, but this was a new experience to me. It was my first time having a lead role as a coach, being the head coach of a team. And I've been doing it on my own, which, you know, for some of my age, you might think might be quite a tough task or, you know, quite a tough ask for me. But it's been a fantastic experience. It's been something that I've taken, you know, in every stride, you know, just one step at a time. And the parents have been really appreciative of the work I've done with that team. And the players are really enjoying playing football as well. So, from now on, it's just about giving them challenges every week, you know, looking to help them improve even more. And then that's for me as well. You know, I'm still young. I'm still looking to improve as much as I can as a coach. But the main thing is that the players are enjoying playing together as a team. And they are. So that's, for me, the perfect, perfect start to their footballing careers, you know, individually and as a team playing together. So that's not the only thing I've been doing. You know, there's been a few other things I've been doing as well. Obviously, we're kind of getting out of lockdown now. We're not really in a lockdown. There's still restrictions in place, but the vaccine's starting to roll out. I'm hopefully going to get mine next week. 
and we're starting to see it maybe a return to normality. However, there's a downside to all of this. It's fantastic that we are heading back to this normality. However, there is still obviously the object in place that we can't travel to other countries. And sometimes there's just countries that are completely blocking you from traveling to them. Most annoying part about this is that one of them is America. And as you know, I was meant to be going to work in America. In fact, I was actually meant to be going in two days. I was meant to be flying out in two days, but they pushed back the start date. However, I'm still not able to go to London to get my visa. And a visa is the one thing now that I need to be able to travel out to America. Without that, I'm not allowed to enter America. So yeah, without it, it's pretty much useless so I can do anything else. So I've taken it upon myself to decide to cancel my trip to America this summer. As of this morning, I've made the decision that I will be staying here in Wales for the summer, which is, it's a bit annoying, I, I can't lie. It's, it's something that I have looking forward to last summer, obviously the big lockdown happened it was right at the start of covid that year but this year i thought maybe it might be the year that happened it just hasn't turned out that way it's still some implications in place where you can't travel they're not allowing people to get their visas in london to travel to america so i've taken it upon myself to stay here this summer and focus on my coaching around here like i said i'm still with solid home Moors. my team are going to have a fantastic summer no doubt entering friendlies and football tournaments still having those training sessions and i'll be able to stay around here as well you know there's still work for me to do here in wrexham as you'll be able to see here got my progressive sports top those of you that know me from progressive sports of course i won't be staying away i'll be working over the summer doing one-to-ones maybe doing some work in schools and of course the most important one of those our summer camps it's going to be a long really fun and exciting summer and i can't wait for our announcements to come out in the following few days and weeks as to where those camps will be taking place because i'm sure me and the other coaches will continue to provide you all with a fun and engaging experience of those camps it actually wasn't too long ago that we had our last camp uh, i finished university oh i say i finished it was actually in the same week i had my online exams for university we had a camp at oskol cloedog in the middle of Wrexham, and it was a really successful week not only was the weather fantastic but the commitment of the players the kids that attended the camp was fantastic their behavior was absolutely brilliant so if you were one of those players that were there well done me and the other coaches were really impressed with how technically you know excellent you were i'm trying to find the right word to use but yeah really fantastic technical ability the behavior again as well is one of the most important things for me and the other coaches your behavior on the camps is one of the most important things we want you to behave politely you behave well around each other and, you know, you'll be able to make new friends. You know, if we see any negative behavior, it might have a harsh effect on everyone else at the camp. And that's not just players, that's for the coaches as well. We want you all to be able to engage together and have a fun time. And you all showed that in that week. So no negative comments from anyone. We were all really, really happy with that week. And of course, that makes us even more excited for the summer, especially for me now. I've got loads of plans in place for me helping progress with sports. We've got loads of ideas to help make camp even more fun. And of course, you know, I am the best coach there. So, you know, if you're going to be there, just, just let everyone else know I'm the best coach. You heard it here first. You know the drill. Sorry, can't this do this. Is as well as coaching football, I've also been playing a lot of football. Since you last saw me, we managed to play our first game with the university football team in Birmingham, which we played against Solihull United, who are a team of trialists looking to sign for non-league football clubs in the Birmingham area or further apart, if you know they're good enough to play for them. And it was a pretty humbling experience. They were a fantastic team, and for me, playing in centre midfield in that game, I don't think I've ever run so much in my life. It was a felt like running a marathon on a football pitch there was a, a lot of running a lot of tackling and it was a really intense game but for me that's the kind of experiences i want to gain you know it's 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 really great to play against those players that have a great ability and it'll only help me improve and you know especially for me seeing how they play it might help me in my coaching as well you know how they set up in their formation how they communicate with each other and then that's not just for their team that's for us as well seeing how the coaches from the team i play for coach our team and how they carry out their coaching process will only help me improve further and you know it transfers between coaching and playing that's why i've been enjoying playing my football recently because i've been able to implement my coaching into that and then vice versa what i learn when i'm playing can come back to what i do in my coaching i've also been playing locally as well like i said again i've obviously finished my first year of university now so everything i'm doing is pretty much local to wrexham apart from when i'm coaching solid hold moors so here's a few highlights from a game i played last week
There's a few other things I've been doing as well, which you may not have known about just because I've been so busy. I try to start live streaming on Twitch. I went on a long walk in the snow. I beat the high score on the basketball machine in temp and bowling. I did some dancing in my kitchen. I won two coaches challenges at a progressive sports football camp. I did some negotiating on the phone. And I played a lot of FIFA with my flatmates. You, you just, just got caged! You just got caged! Oh yeah, and the, the actual two sync YouTubers opened some FIFA packs for me. Got a cracking team. You all laughed at me. Well, I have to say, you're not laughing now, are you? You are lying to yourself if you don't think the best, best moment when you're at home is getting a parcel delivered to your house. Being a footballer, the best possible parcel to get delivered is a new pair of football boots. I've been waiting for a few weeks now, trying to decide if I'm going to get a new pair of boots for the season that's coming up. And lo and behold, my old pair of boots ripped. So, perfect opportunity for me to get some new ones, as you can see there. They're ripped open, completely ripped inside. So, a perfect opportunity for me to get some new boots. I mean... You know, you, you, just, you just simply can't be playing with a pair of boots that are ripped. It's a perfect excuse for me to spend more money. Who the fuck? Woo! So, had to do it. Adidas. I mean, I've got, I've got a pair of Nike boots, a pair of studs, but I mean, for most of my life, I've wore Adidas boots, to be honest. I think they've got the slight edge over Nike. Usually, Nike are more like a narrow football boot, whereas Adidas are a bit wider. And I've got them fat feet. So there you go. But apart from that, without that being said, we got ourselves a new pair. So let's have a look. Too bad. White and gold. It's one of the first time in ages, actually, I've got a pair of white boots. But I like these a lot. I saw them on discount offer on Sports Direct and thought, you know, you, you just simply can't turn that down. I know a lot of you wear boots with socks, like for the ankles, where you have to proper tuck them up. I did have a pair of those when I was about 15. And... Ever since I've tried to avoid them because I, I simply just cannot pull the sock up. It's an absolute nightmare. So I've tried to stay away from that ever since. As you can see, they're, they're pretty similar. They've got the three little Adidas stripes on them as well. But these are really clean in there. They're good for summer as well because the ground is either going to be dry or I'm going to be playing on 4G. So they'll never get dirty. Whereas if it was the winter and I had studs boots, I would literally never buy a pair of white boots. It would be an absolute nightmare to try and clean them. But no, these are pretty nice. Um, I've got a game tomorrow night of friendlies, so that's the first opportunity for me to try them out. And uh, yeah, hopefully score a few goals with them. We're gonna leave the new boots in there. The old ones I'll probably keep for coaching. I don't really think wearing white boots for coaching is my kind of thing, but you know, I'll probably wear the white boots to play, and even though the black ones are ripped, I'll probably just save them for training. Now that you've just seen my boots really quickly, we're gonna switch over to see how fast I can put the washing out of the line. Let's go. He's done it again. That is a Stay or go. He has to go, blood. He has to go, blood. And and sorry, can't this do is this. Apps. I'm just thinking actually as I'm recording this, I'm looking outside and all I can think of is when I recorded the videos. Let me just try and make an angle. There we go. It just took me back actually to think about all those videos I made right at the start. All those one-to-one -one videos in the garden. Literally that first one where I was stood right by the door like an absolute nervous wreck. What's up everyone? My name is Liam Davis. I'm 18 years old from North Wales, United Kingdom. And Are you sure about that? Video. Just to think how far I've come since that and you know how many videos I've made since. 
it's, it's mental to think actually that you know I was that nervous back then and since then I've done what 16 or 17 around that many uh, sessions for you to complete in your own gardens and then from then on I did a documentary video a video where I drove around Rex and trying to hit crossbars in public it's like just to think the difference between now and then is quite mental so what I am going to do now is put a little uh, highlights compilation in of the best moments for my channel so far although there haven't been that many good moments but I'm sure you'll appreciate it anyway seeing all the best moments from my channel so here we go I'm going to cut away I'm going to stop talking might go and change the pink top and uh, we'll see how it goes from there see you in a bit I'm down. Tino's, Tino's, everybody's talking about Tino's. Tino's, First one, and then hopefully me and cameraman are going to start traveling around Wrexham, see how many crossbars we can find. What I should add is that I can't hit the same two crossbars on one pitch. So, like a normal football pitch, this pitch has two crossbars, but I can't hit them both. I can only hit one per location. So once I hit a crossbar here, we're going to hop back in the car and find our next location. So, well, there's four, but okay, you've got one, two, Listen, three, right, don't get cocky, right? Four. <laughs> God, would you look at that? Crossbar number five. Take a look at that over there. That is Van Gogh. Is the views for days? Crossbar two, three, two, one. Let's go. Oh my god! Walls. Location. Location. Welcome. Do you want to take the cones? No. No. Oh, okay. Start now. <laughs> it's already recording. Okay. Don't know why you say start, start, start now. now. Okay. All right. You can cut out whatever you want. <laughs> I'm just continuing. Right, okay, this. Wait, okay, I'm gonna start by putting this on. Okay, wait, look at me. Okay, okay. <laughs> you're gonna have to edit that, you know what, don't you? Big beast when it comes to the lyrics. Me, I do this thing on the mic with no gimmicks. Came a long way, I was serving in no civics. And you were trying to keep me from winning, but I did it, I did it. Ask about me, I did it. Let man stay on my sofa, I did it. Time to make a cup of tea. Hardest part about making a cup of tea for me is which mug do I pick? I've got way too many mugs. Um, so I usually take longer picking which mug I'm gonna use compared to how long it actually takes me to make a cup of tea. Just so for a bit of a reference, um, I love cups of tea. And if any of you do, let me know in the comments down below. But simply for that reason, I'm gonna honor my love for a cup of tea by using the biggest mug 
in the entire cupboard. Here it is, the absolute size of that, the Sports Direct mug. It's famous for being absolutely huge, so I'm definitely gonna take a long time to drink this. It's gonna take me a while, but all for the love of the cup of tea, let's get making the brew. I just heard someone put something through my door and I scared the life out of me, I thought I was getting robbed. Keep, keep on forgetting how massive this cup is. So, uh, got my brew. So now it's time for me to actually go and start editing this video. It's been a few months since I've actually edited anything on YouTube. Um, because, like I've said a load of times, I've not been making many videos. But, uh, just gonna have a quick verdict from Steven Gerrard. Steven, what do you think about me returning to YouTube? Do you think it's a good thing? Yeah, of course. 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 Yeah, definitely. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, definitely, you know. Yeah, of course. Yeah, of course. Yeah, of course. It's yeah, of course. 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 Yeah, definitely. Yeah, definitely. Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah, definitely. So anyway, that's where I'm going to leave this video. I hope you've enjoyed it. I know it's been like a mishmash of just absolutely random content, you know, looking back at some moments on this channel, because watching this video, some of you will probably be new here. And there might be a few of you where this is your first video. So it's good for you to see a few highlights from my channel and have a look at a few things I used to do on this channel, you know, some of the ideas which we previously presented and uploaded as videos. And I really, really, really recommend you go back and watch those videos. There were some really good ones, especially the recent ones, like my welcome back to the channel video, where you can watch me coach. The video where I try to hit as many crossbars as possible. And also my documentary on how I tackled the pandemic. Those videos are absolutely fantastic and they're all on my channel, all are available for you to watch completely for free. And yeah, if you haven't done already, I really recommend you go and watch them. But for now, I will leave this video there and I hope you did enjoy it. And again, remember to like this video, subscribe to the channel, Turn on your notifications so you're ready for my uploads, if I do upload. And for now, I'll see you in the next video.